Welcome to Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym, 235 C. Robbins Lane in Syosset. We have everything you need if you want to build the body you want. Top of the line equipment, clean, very organized. Come anytime you want. For information on the gym, BevFrancis.com, 516-933-1111. As you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym hoodie inside my office today, and I'm doing it because in life there are things we love, there are things we respect, and then there's that short list of things that we love and respect. And that's why I'm here to declare that today is officially Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym Day. We celebrate around the global fitness and bodybuilding industry, and I'm just so grateful for the work that everyone at that gym does to kind of move the sport forward, that authentic, hardcore, serious bodybuilding energy. It is a place where regular people become champions, where champions become legends. In fact, it is the only gym that on my own personal keychain, the membership tag hangs there each and every day. And even though I am 1,500 miles away from the gym, it is something that is always near and dear to my heart. Big shout out to Big Steve, Bev, Donna, everybody at the East Coast Mecca, all the members. Keep doing what you're doing. We appreciate you. We respect you. And today we celebrate you is different in this gym than any other gym uh, for the most part the environment once you get here even if you don't want to train you feel like training it wakes you up the intensity of everybody training around you if you don't feel like training hard eventually you wind up training hard and uh, also you know basically the people that come here you know this is basically I usually consider it what Cheers was to a bar, this was this is what it is for a gym. When you get here, everybody knows who you are. What's the benefit of having Steve here? Everything, everything. You get the honesty. You get everything you ask is going to be straightforward. And seeing Steve um, and just looking at his face, you're not going to get a smile until basically you bought that first place. And uh, to break it down is, you know, Steve, how do I look? If you're not ready and you're not for the faint of hearts, it's just, he's gonna break it down to you. You look good, you don't, just be ready to take it in. And that's what you got from Steve. And that's why I appreciate him so much. Sadiq, what sets Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym aside from all others? What makes it the magnificent beast that it is? Well, when it comes to hardcore training, environment, intensity, there's nowhere in the world like the East Coast Mecca. I've been or had the pleasure of being in many gyms across the world. And anytime you step in here, you know you're getting to work. You're here for a reason, you're focused. You have other like-minded individuals that are training their ass off. That's why this is the best gym to train at. What's the benefit of having Steve here as the gym owner and head judge of the Olympia? Well, Steve's great. You know, nobody has an eye like Steve Weinberger when it comes to just assessing a physique, um, you know, overall, you know, balance and, you know, any kind of posing critique or whatever it may be. He is one of the best, not to mention that he handpicks every piece of equipment. So when you come in here, you're using the best chest machines, the best back machines, the best leg machines. It's bar none. Gareth, when was the first time you were at Bev Francis gym? Wow. <laughs> so that's a funny story. Um, I was actually getting ready for the 20, 2015 Atlantic States. And um, I put in the GPS, Bev Francis, uh, Atlantic States. And when I was supposed to be at the show, I ended up showing up at the gym. It was pouring rain. I did my tan the night before. I showed up here, my tan got completely washed off. And then I had to go to Baruch College shortly after. But that was my first time here. My first time actually working out here was still 2015, but it was probably about a couple weeks later I came here and it was just the best gym ever. Had every piece of equipment that I could ever imagine using. And it was, it was a match made in heaven. Haven't left since. What's the benefit of having Steve here at, at Beth Francis Gym? Oh man, um, where do I start? Number one, the pressure. So, you know, you, you gotta, 
you got to be in the room to be part of the conversation. And when you're in the room, you always want to present the best version of yourself. So you're not going to come down to Bev Francis and just put in a light day. Um, you know, you always, you know, try to push a little bit harder, do the right things, conduct yourself a certain type of way. So the pressure of knowing that one of the head judges is right there, you know, and you're not under a microscope, but, you know, people do take notice to what you do in the gym. And, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like a gut check having Steve around. He just keeps you in line without even being there. You know, so you always come here ready to play. What sets this gym aside from other gyms? What's, what makes Bev special? Bev's is home. Bev's allowed me to meet one of my best friends, my boyfriend. I've just gained such a different perspective on myself because I've entered the realm of bodybuilding and competing. It's just a different energy than any other gym I've ever been to. And you really can't compare it to anything else out there. What's the benefit of having Steve here at the gym as a competitor? The benefit of having Steve Weinberger here in the gym is just, it's astronomical. The, the ability to be able to have him take a look at you, be honest with you, um, hype you up, be there to just be able to be a cheerleader, you know, but at the same time, like I said, be extremely honest with where you're at and where he thinks you can go. All right. For me, why Bev Francis Powerhouse? To me, it's the best gym in the world. You, you, it's like a candy land. For me, the first time, I remember the first time I stepped foot into Bev Francis, I couldn't believe just the amount of history in, in terms of uh, competitors that have been here, in terms of you know, just the quality and the quantity of the equipment that's in this uh, facility, and just the motivation you get because so many champions came through this gym. So like I said, to me, it's like a candy land, and it's, for me, it's the best gym in this world. I think one of the most unique things about Bev Francis is the fact that you get to uh, see Big Steve. You know, like I said, he's the head judge of the IFBB and MPC, and to be in that environment, and then the fact that he's so busy and has such a busy schedule that he still focus a lot of his time and effort on making sure that this gym is top notch and it's run effortlessly. And like I said, he treats everybody fairly. You know, you come into this gym, everything is in place. The dumbbells are in place. You go to so many gyms and you know, you find stuff mismatched and stuff is 110 dumbbell is here and then another 110 is on the other side of the gym. When you come to Bev's, everything is where it's supposed to be. And that's one of the coolest thing about this gym that like, it's like he takes priority into how the gym is run and how he put everything together so that you get the amazing experience every time you're in this gym. What's up guys? We're here at the Bear Francis Powerhouse gym in Syacet. Um, I've been in this gym for about 17 years and I came here around 2005. Um, came from another gym in the area and some people told me I should try this one even though I used to come here when I was in high school. Came here a few times, so another friend reminded me about this gym and I forgot about it. And I said, oh yeah, 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 let me check it out again. And then I came here from the other gym because I was having some problems with the other gym. Too many people, too much gossip, and I really like it because I'm a very lucky guy, so I don't like drama. So I came to Bev back in 2005 and I've been here since then. I haven't gone anywhere else. And to be honest with you, there has been many times I even consider moving out of state. And one of the main reasons why I'm still here in New York is because of this gym, because I don't think I can find what I find here. The atmosphere, the people, the equipment, I don't think I can find that anywhere else. So because of Bear Francis Powerhouse Gym, I'm still here in New York and I'm probably gonna be here for a very long time just so I can get my best workout here at Bear Francis Powerhouse Gym, the East Coast Mecca. How is Steve different from uh, other gym owners? Uh, Steve let me do what I gotta do to get better. They're not watching over my shoulder like a little kid. So I have no issue with the way that he treat me and everybody else is. So everything here has been great. So as far as Steve, Steve is very, he got us, over the years I've realized Steve have a very similar attitude to what I have. He's very 
loyal to the people that are loyal to him. To me, I can respect that. So the best thing about Bev, there's so many things. The list will be too big to even, I, I mean, I, could, I, I can just give you a whole hour long what is the best thing about Bev, but I'm just going to say a few short things. Bev's, the energy is amazing. No gym, nowhere on earth has their, the energy is just second to none. The people are amazing. I mean, they have almost every piece of equipment. I mean, probably have every piece of equipment that you could think of. And if they don't have it, it's because it sucks. So you shouldn't, ha you shouldn't be training. You shouldn't be using that, that piece if they don't have it at Bev's. So, but they have every official piece and they're always getting new stuff. The, you know, the people there, I mean, I've been training there for, I mean, probably 15, probably longer than 15 years. And we've become like a family everywhere that I walk in. It's just, you know, like the, it, it's the support, it's just everything throughout my whole bodybuilding career. It was just, you know, um, it was just, it's the best gym to, to, to train at. It's just, like I said, that is the best thing. The energy, the equipment, those are my, those are my top two. It was um having Steve around was the best. I mean he's um he's a mentor to every bodybuilder that you know in New York, uh, anybody. It's like people come from it's the Flex Rules or come from Florida, or from Vegas, everybody. Steve is um he's there for everybody. He's there to give all of us support. Um doesn't show favoritism. He's just like one of the realest people you'll ever meet. He's the most honest. Um and if you want somebody to Tell you what you want to hear. Do not go to Steve because he's going to tell you exactly what it is. He's going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. So, um, but it's um, having Steve there. It's like, you know, um, like one of the best. I don't know. He he's just such a such a great person. He doesn't say much, but when he's what he, what he says is obviously something like you can count on it being you know. Honest. So it's like even when you're competing, if you go up to him like, hey, Steve, you know, like having that person to go to, like to have it as an eye, like, you know, everybody had to fly from all over just to come see him. I didn't, you know, I would go there once in a while. I, I was in New York, so, but I, I wasn't the type that was always there like every week, you know, I, that, you know, I, and there were shows where I wish I actually went to see him like a week or two before because, you know, I could have made some changes, but the fact that I was training there, I never wanted to like feel like I was bothering, whatever, this and that. But he's just such a person that it doesn't bother him. He loves to be there, support everybody, and you know, give you his honest opinion. But it's it's a great feeling, and it, it's great to be able to um, have Steve there, and he's such an amazing human being, especially for the sport of bodybuilding. I mean, he, um, like I said, and I know so many people that know him, like like. The, yeah, I, I, just a group of people. If you ever see his seminars, which he has on February, he'll call. All these people come to 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 be part of his seminar, to be there for Steve. He's just a person that's like, he's just he's there to support and just love. And he's like, I said, he's just an amazing human being. I mean, you have to know Steve. I'm not the best at putting words together, so I'm trying my best. All I can all I can say is that, like, he's just a person that. Is amazing. Like people come all over the world to see him. He supports bodybuilding to the fullest. I mean, he pushes us all to be our best, you know, and that's all he wants. And if you, you know, he's amazing. He'll, anybody who comes, I mean, I, 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 I'm there. Anybody who comes, they can drive, they can fly a 10 hour flight, whether they live five minutes away. If he asks, if they ask, hey, Steve, can you give me some critique? Can you, can you, can I speak to you? He takes the time to speak to everybody. Hey, I mean, that speaks volume because there's a lot of people that won't take the time to, or they'll brush people off. He will sit down and speak to every single individual. I think that's huge. That speaks volume on an individual and a person, um, you know. My name is Angelica Nebbia and I'm the vice president of the Olympia. And I am so proud to say that I got my start in bodybuilding and fitness, developed my love of the industry, at Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym. Although it was so long ago that that actually wasn't the name at the time, it was Bev Francis World Champion Gym. I joined at the age of 10 years old back in 1986, and it truly changed the course of my life. In fact, so much so that I still have this jacket. It's one of my favorite things. It's got, well, it was the 80s, so of course it has my name in hot pink on the front. It says Bev Francis World Champion Gym, and it has the original logo on the back, with the leather koala. 
Um, I have had this jacket for 38 years and I will have it for the rest of my life because that's how much the gym means to me. That's how much Bev and Steve mean to me. Um, I'm better when I'm there. Uh, I don't live nearby anymore, but I can tell you when I go back and I visit Bev's and I walk in the doors of that gym, my mind is clear. Um, I feel stronger mentally. I'm certainly stronger physically. I don't know how or why, but I can lift more when I'm there. It's not just the massive facility. It's not what is arguably the best collection of workout equipment in the world. It's not just those things. It is the environment that Bev and Steve have worked the last several decades to create there. It is welcoming. It is inspiring. Um, it doesn't matter if it's your first time walking in the doors of a gym or if you are a multi-time Olympia champion. Bev's gym is for everyone. I can't stress that enough. Um, so if you belong to Bev's, you already know what I'm talking about. Um, if you've never been there, you have to get there and check it out for yourself. I promise you will have the best workout of your life. Frank Seppi, Zach Ziegler, Steve Weinberger at the world-renowned Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym. If you've gone to any fitness event, you'll see, I don't know, countless amount of people wearing the sweatshirts. It is, you know, the East Coast Mecca, the best gym in the world, and we're here today covering it, uh, showing you how it came to be, and just all the amazing equipment, and all the, uh, just, I, I don't know, thousands of athletes that came through the door, whether they're in the WWE, NFL, bodybuilding, this has been like the cornerstone of the best uh, gym in Long Island and for me, the world and for a lot of other people, the world. It's also continuously evolving. I mean, I, I spoke to Steve about mm -hmm. this uh, a few years ago and I came in and I'm, I'm noticing that things are changing and I'm really curious as to uh, how that came about. We just try to keep up with the times, new equipment. We always keep the classic equipment, but there's new equipment out there. We get it and we try to just stay up with the times. What do you think is the most, uh, so what would be the most popular or the most uh, used of the newer stuff that's come in? Uh, new Tech is very popular, real good company. Yeah. Um, there's also Panada, which is a good company. There's Max Pump, and then I have the classics, you know, PK Star, Icarian, Flex, Hammer Strength, Nautilus. So how do you decide, like, I started training here in the 90s, and there are pieces of equipment in here that have never gotten better than those pieces in here, and there's some of them are still here. How do you decide which equipment's going to stay and which has to go? Because you've had so many great pieces here, so obviously you're the person who's, you know, instrumental in getting rid of everything, putting in. Those really good pieces, we, we have some pieces in here for 40 years. Yeah. And we keep them. But when I, I luckily from the IFPB, the MPC, I travel all over the world, mm -hmm. and I go to many gyms. And the first place I go when I go to these places is the gym. Mm -hmm. Check out the gym, check out new equipment. I go to trade shows. I see what comes out new. I look, look like what New Tech's coming out with, Panada, and all these other companies. And honestly, that's how I, I keep up with it. If it's something that looks good, I'll try it. I'll see if it's better than what I have. If it's better than what I have, I'll replace it. When's the, uh, all right, Steve, when's the last time you had to uh, toss somebody out? Do you remember? Hopefully it's been a long time. Mm. Might, know the, might know the rules. Trying to think. I, I've, I've given a warning recently. Someone dropping 150 pound dumbbells and he didn't do it again. And that was two weeks ago. That was the, the closest we came to it. I feel like it they was. They apologized, they were genuine. Yeah. All right. Like if they're like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm like, Hit the road. We just we just made the comment that I did that your gym is pretty much the only gym I've been to where all the dumbbells are on the rack in the right places. I mean, that alone is just incredible because if I train at four different gyms this week, there's dumbbells all over the place. There's dumbbells in aerobics room. There's dumbbells. There's no way if I went out there right now, which we're going to, all the dumbbells are in the right rack. How the hell do you do that? See, so we control. I mean, I. These people know that if they don't put their weights away, they get their warning, they get their second warning, and then they're gone. 
But that's a respect thing, right? Like, if you you know, you're providing all, you put a lot of thought right. into this and you want it to be equally as respected. Exactly. Makes I sense. want the gym respected. Respect the gym, gym respects you, there's no problems. Yeah. Off with the gym and you're gone. Yeah. You've had pretty much the who's who in the fitness industry, WWE, NFL, walk through this door. I mean, growing up here, I started coming here when I was 19. You had New York Jets, Giants, you had actors, you had everybody. Like, we could go on a name like J-Lo has been here. Right. Rock's been here. You know, Gregory Hines. Like, yes. so many people. Gregory Hines, when we opened up the gym, was number one. Was he, number he was the first one to join the gym. Mm -hmm. He actually wanted to join the gym. Wow. He didn't want to just come in the guest. He insisted on paying. I mean, you had the whole offensive line from the New York Jets. Yes. You had the the whole tick, the whole... um what do you call a ticket or whatever you want to call it for the WWE? Yeah. Like they were all competing that night. They're all in here. Is there anybody that's come through the door where you've been starstruck or you've been like, wow? Well, I, can't. I don't know if I'm starstruck, but the one I respect the most and the one that I have the most admiration for and even love for is The Rock. If you're an IFBB competitor or, you know, NPC competitor, this is obviously, besides, you know, just an athlete, the place to be. I remember coming in every single Olympia champion, like, you know, with Dorian Yates. With Dorian trained here at Ron for five and six Olympias a month before. Ronnie, every, yeah. just about it. Yeah. Ronnie's been here, Phil's been here. Yeah. Was Derek, Derek was just here for a week. Every Mr. Olympia since Dorian Yates has been here. What about yourself? How how did your uh, training change? So you're you're still training. Uh, I still train. All I just I just had neck surgery last week, so I'm I'm out for about three or four weeks. But I love to train. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not like I used to be. I used to be a lot bigger and a lot stronger, but I'm a lot littler and a lot older. <laughs> what year did this gym start? Eighty six. And what was the size of the gym in eighty six compared just, to now? Just five thousand square feet. Now it's twenty five thousand square feet. Twenty five thousand square feet of equipment. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's no. There's no aerobics. There's no. This is a gym. And then of course we have Derek in the back with the boxing, and that's it. But you also have the. I mean, opposing room, which totally makes sense. Opposing rooms really is one of the more popular rooms we have. It gets used. Yeah. Honestly, I'd be surprised. The people that go in that opposing room, besides like the real bodybuilders, there are regular people that go in there that. That you wouldn't expect that pose in that posing room and they enjoy it god bless them you would think too like the back mma is an add-on but there's been ufc champions back there you have frankie edgar has been back there so many champions are back there and now john Gotti the third's getting ready for a fight against floyd mayweather at the super bowl so it's like and that's just a small that's, part of that's, the gym. that but it, but it's a very it's a fun part for me because i love it yeah i train with derek i, I love it there it's 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 um, it's a getaway for me. It's a getaway away from the gym. It's like a little hideaway in the gym. When did you realize that uh, this became a destination, right? Like it wasn't just a gym. It became something bigger. Like as, as Frank said, you go all over the world, you're going to see people with the sweatshirts. People come here from all over just to, as you said, whether they're celebrities or not, people that are super into fitness and bodybuilding come here just to experience it. When did you notice that that was a thing? I'm, you know, it's still very, um, what's the word, uh, gratifying to me because I really, I know it, but I don't know it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's hard to believe, but I know it. I'm real proud of it, but I still sometimes don't believe it. I see what you mean. Because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to take away from. And I also don't want to think, oh, you know what my gym is? Uh -huh. it, to me, it's just, it's the gym. I handle it like the gym and that's the way I like to handle it. So now you've seen the immersion of uh, these big gyms in Long Island around you, like 40, 50,000 square feet of equipment. And, you know, you have some competitors training there. But we just interviewed a ton of people and they talk about the energy that they get when they walk through the store. What you can't duplicate in any other facility, no matter how big it is, no matter how much equipment they have, you can't duplicate the energy and the motivation that you get from, the, from a gym. Why do you think that is here? Because people always say time and time again, we interview them, they come in here and they're like, man, it makes me want to train and train even harder. I think this gym was set up for training. Mm -hmm. It's not set up to have a bit of coffee over here, mm -hmm. sandwich over here. And this is the way we always wanted it. We never wanted a health club. We wanted a gym. Honestly, when that gym across the street, mm -hmm. I was shitting in my pants for a while. I thought, oh my God, 50,000 square foot gym, mm -hmm. knock on wood. It, it just, it didn't hurt us at all. Yeah. 
So that's really what it is. It's it's a gym. A lot of people had double memberships because they didn't want to lose training here. Right, and a lot, a lot of people, people that. went there and decided yeah. to come back because one thing, like you were saying, it had one piece of this and two pieces of this where we have seven or eight pieces of that. Yeah, I mean, you talk about like the the motivational factor. You walk in and look at the decor. Look at like yeah. the, like there is a lot, especially if you're somebody who wants to get to the next level. Whether you're just somebody that wants to train from uh, you know and not compete, or especially if you want to compete, look at the walls, man. Like it's like that. It, those people were here training, and that kind of stares you in the face. To that you know, yeah, just, these aren't trade show pictures right. either. These no. are people who've been through the right. Door. They've been through the door, and I think part of it is. Besides the bodybuilders, the regular people get a kick out of it as being a real serious gym mm -hmm. and not a bullshit gym. And they like training alongside those real people and they becoming friends with them and become fans of them. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, that's that's the thing, because we were talking before and, you know, Max was saying how certain people would be intimidated at first. But it took Max about a year because Max didn't talk. <laughs> yeah, Max, Max was like a laugh. He was like a pit bull. You know what I mean? He came in and he never said nothing, very quiet. But then when he started talking, everybody loved him. You know what I mean? He was like the pit bull you were afraid to pet. <laughs> well, I, I think it was Sadiq who said he didn't want to train here because he felt like he was too skinny at yeah. first. And then he came, you know, he came in here and he was comfortable. We have to realize, too, that the majority of the people who are, you know, influencers and, and pros are more than happy to answer any questions here. And they're really nice. And if you're trying, if you're intimidated by coming here, don't be. Because yeah. I haven't seen one incident in the last 30 years of anybody, Never. Being, you know, they're yelling at them because they're too skinny or too small, or whatever. Most people are helpful. And if you want to get to the top of the food chain, this is where you go. Derek Lenfield was here for a week, a month ago. And he must have asked, must have answered about 25 questions and took mm -hmm. about 25 pictures. And he was happy to do it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you still have to be respectful. When they're training, leave them be. When they're done, excuse me, no problem. You respect them and they'll respect you. That's that's pretty much the way the gym is set up. I think it comes from, I mean, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but it comes from the top, right? Like you don't come in here with your ego thinking you're bigger than this place or you're better than anybody. No, you're no. You're here to train. You're here to, as I said, it, it comes down to this mutual respect. Exactly. And it, as you said, if somebody's coming in and bothering somebody in the middle of their squat. They're, they're gone. Sure, yeah, like that's, I don't know who would do that, but I'm sure there'd be somebody. What, what would you like to see for the future of the gym? Um, continuing what we're doing, you know, new pieces that come in, other pieces that aren't used as much that I thought would have been popular and I was wrong. I take out right away and replace with something else. And, you know, just continued success. This is going to be year 30, 37. And, you know, I'm, I'm, 60, I'm going to be 63 tomorrow. And I hope, I hope I'll be 83 still here. Wow. That's awesome. All right, Steve, thanks for taking yeah, the time. You. All right, so Steve's gonna take us for a tour of the gym. Let's go. I'll make it quick and fast. If you look right over here, is all our cardio equipment. In the back is our abdominal equipment and a little bit more of leg equipment. For people that want to do lunges here and go on a leg extension and a leg curl, if you can see, they do them back there. And behind that is Derek's room. Let's see the famous posing room. Right here. <laughs> Everyone's been in this posing room. <laughs> Even people that shouldn't be. And here's a woman posing herself. You can stay there, do your thing. Here's just a, a woman that one day is going to compete, practicing posing. Yes. She's filming herself and she's all ready to go. So Mr. Olympia, Derek Lunsford was here posing in this room, right? How many other uh, Olympia champions? In Ronnie's been in here, Jay's been in here, everyone's been in here. Everyone's been in here. Steve, how many times have you had to, uh, you know, kind of put somebody, I wouldn't say in their plate, but you, you know, when somebody asks your opinion, you're going to be honest with them, right? So how many times have you had to maybe knock somebody down a peg? I'd say 25% of the time I'll tell them, not really, I don't knock them down because I don't want right. to fuck with their ego, yeah. but I'll tell them, you know, you're behind, you need to yeah. catch up. You're like three weeks behind, or maybe you should skip this show hmm. and get ready for another show. I would say 30%, 25% of the time. 
Because some guys think they're ready and they're just not. Yeah. Look, you got to hear it. Yeah. If you want an honest assessment of your physique and you're competing, he'll I tell you he's not going to sugarcoat you. And that's the only way you're going to get better. Cool. And that's why I'll never ask. Let's go. <laughs> Check out this. No, yeah. Sure. You sure? Uh. This is... Hello, ladies. Hello. This is our MMA Good boxing work. room. Derek runs this. He does a great job. We've got world champion kickboxes, MMA guys. We have everybody in here. Cool. And also it's used for stretching. Here we just have a little bit of extra, besides the leg room, some extra leg equipment and a pullover for people who just want to do their walking lunges or just come out here and just disappear for a while. All the air equipment and cardio. Very cool. Steve, any particular jersey or anything that, that stands out to you that was uh, well, the, the, well, honestly, my favorite is Romanowski. He was my favorite football player. That, but that's not your team, is it? Is it no, Raiders. It's my second favorite team. Jets are my team. There's a bald old man, and there's Frankie right over there. Yeah. I mean, you missed me. Are you pointing? There he is. I know that guy. I know that guy. I love this shot. These two monsters break on my chair. <laughs> yeah. Juan. Sadiq. Max. Dorian. Dorian trained every five Mr. Olympias he trained for here out of his six. Chris Bumstead. Chris has been here a couple of times too. And there's Jim. <laughs> Jim runs the place, could fix anything. Hi, how are you? I'm here. By body parts. Here goes arms, right through dumbbells, biceps, triceps. This is one of the, the new tech. Uh, this is new tech. This is a thin lateral. And it's great. It's meant for short people and tall people as the base moves. You know, I saw the, I saw they had a display at the Olympia Expo, and I was honestly they, the the guy that owns it is a, is is a great guy. He needn't he doesn't talk English, but when he's got his um, translator with him, yep. have some great conversation with him. He came here and loved the gym. Yep. He said this is his kind of gym. Nice. Now from here it goes to shoulders. The right side is all back. Staying close to you. <laughs> There's a painter, you ever need a painter? There's a painter. And right here, it, it goes into back. From shoulders, I mean, excuse me, it goes into chest. Back is over, over here where we just walked by. It was back, chest, shoulders. So this is about one, this is the band I've heard. I've, I've seen it in a lot. It's a, it's a classy piece that just yeah. won't get rid of. So what, what's the oldest piece in here? Oh, it's, well, we only have room, I'll show you. This is my favorite old school. I can't even, yeah. This is my favorite old school shoulder machine. I love show this. Frank. Excuse me one second. I love Thank this you. thing. The side. Do sides. What do you do front? That machine's 30 years old. I love it. Some more new tech. How are you? Look at all those this wonderful is, toys. Amazing. Someone left their weights on so you could feel it a little bit. Just try this, Frank. It's, it's their pec deck. New tech. It's a great pec deck. It really hits the lower part of your pecs. Oh, wow. Zach, check this out. Oh, that's cool. Try that out. I have not used new tech. Yeah, it's really cool. That's it's a good angle. on equipment. I don't think it's any piece of equipment that targeted they, that area. They have equipment that really... That's so cool. I got to show you their back. That's it, I'm doing the Olympia. <laughs> you could feel it right in your lower pecs, yeah, right? Sure, no. Let me just real quick show you their back machine. Do me a favor, just let me do one thing, okay? Sure. Frank, just jump on it real fast. Yeah, jump on it. Oh, this is my. This is one of my favorites. This yeah, is I used it the other day, yes. Yeah, he, 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 how sick, yeah. They make unbelievable equipment. I shot a couple of videos with this one already. Yeah. No, this is, uh, how, how and look, have this, Steve? This has been here about six months. The Mr. Olympia logo. 
Do they sponsor the Olympia? You didn't steal her backstage. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is more new tech, all well, their cable unit right here. We have two of their cable units. That's awesome. You could do crossover cables this way, or you could do rear delts this way, and you could just do regular cables. They adjust all the way up and all the way down. Very cool. Now we're going into the famous leg room. Look at this. I'll what? show you the oldest piece of equipment in the gym. <laughs> this piece is 40 years old. It was made before we opened the gym when we had our home gym. This was in our home gym. We brought it here. This is like a, a 1953 Corvette. And this is the new version from the same company. Look at the difference. So I trained legs today. I, so I trained legs today and we finished, me and the modern mentalist finished with these. Out of all the machines here for hamstrings, we use this one because I used to use this one back in the day when I competed. I love it. Try this out. You don't even need a lot of weight for it. Are you here? No, come out on, the, on this. There you go. Oh, yeah. So now you could do the uh, Hani Rambo at seven sets of 10 to 12. <laughs> or you could do the Vince Geron, the 10 sets of 10. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm trying a new one. This is this new one. It's 40 to this is 40. Same company. Same company. This company, this one is about this a is month away. One? A month away. You know, it's better to do it this way. Come outside and put your one leg in there. Which one do you? Uh -huh. Yes. Steve, which one do you like better? Oh, I like them both. Like I really both. do. I, you know, I. I I see, like, this is shinier and nicer, but that... This is 40 years old and I can't get rid of it. No, that feels really solid, man. Both of them. Yeah, honestly, this is, this, is a, this is an amazing machine too. They're both good. Cool. I didn't even know, that, wow. That's why I didn't get rid of them. Yeah, they're both equally good. It's good. I carry in standing like girl. This will be here forever. Shoot. Another one of my favorite jerseys is the great late genius say I. What a death. What a death. He used to come here in the summertime. He used to, he used to run a kid's camp and he used to train here. That's awesome. This one you're talking about? The no, th this is like Carrion. This is a, a company in Ohio that's out of business, but it's, it's, these handles help you do fourth reps. Watch him. Really good. Okay. Seppi. Yeah, this, this looks so Seppi. old too, right? Like, it is old. It's old. Seppi. Iron Man. Yeah, this Frank. Burn fast, Frank. Sunflowers back there somewhere. Yeah. Frank's all over the place. Yeah. No wonder he likes to train them. New tech leg extension. They, I mean, they got really good stuff. Jose and I used this the other day. This is good. Yeah. The new tech. Yeah, we do like 12 sets on this. This is really good. We actually did one legged as well. That's a good machine. You know what? They got a great, a great hack. Let me show you the hack. Just try this hack, Frank, with no weight on it. This hack is unbelievable. All legs, no back, no neck, no anything. Again, new tech. Wow, it's all quad. It is nice and smooth. We should have used this the other day. <laughs> wow, that is sick. Teardrop. Try it. So you got this, you said about six months ago? Yes. All of this new tech's about six months ago? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's sick. It looks smooth as hell. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. I believe. Right? Yeah, this is smooth too, man. You said it's all. Oh, yeah, you definitely feel it. Honestly, if there was a company, I'd say is a company in a year. It's, it's new tech and then Panala. <laughs> it's old flex lap, lap pull down. This is honestly, this is one of the, this is one of the be best reverse pull down back exercises that machines I ever used. Always did this in my routine here. I used this the other day with uh, I don't one. It one. Yeah, it's awesome. Do reverse, reverse grip, go in the middle. Yeah, it's. The fill up, right? This is the best. Myself and Juan Morel, the cookie dealer. This is our preference for, for pull downs. Oh man, yeah, for sure. Yeah. This machine's 30 years old. 
We're never going anywhere. Come on. No, you wouldn't this one is too. Try this new tech. Yeah, this is a one-off. It's the only piece this company makes. Yeah? Uh, yes. Try putting a little weight on it. How long have you had? 30 years. 30 years. Maybe 28. Here, yeah, All right, it's weird. Put your feet up on the pad. Be intense. And it's really, it's, it's very adjustable. Look at that. Yeah. This is a good one. So we go superset that and this. Yeah, I mean, you want a championship back? Yeah. Eh, eh. Let's try this. This is new tech. I mean, I mean, I'll make it light for you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm not trying to. Uh... I just want you to get a feel of it. No. I'm... Watch how the handles move in when you come in. That's all. Oh yeah. Feel the handles moving with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel. Oh my god. Same. I look Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Good, right? Oh yeah. No, that's. She's good. They're very, you know, it's good. They're very smooth. Yeah. You feel like they're and they're durable. They're durable. And the target targets that specific part of your back that you're trying to develop. It's good. I like it. A lot of stuff is just this. This is also new, new tech. So basically, anything that's uh, that's this red is going to Most of these red pieces are new tech. Yes. And I tell you what, to have all this. That's in a there, panana. If you have a lot, all this in there, it says something about the brand that you. I really like it. I really like it's it. Not a row. Check it out. There's no weight on it. Just feel it. Sure. This machine's been here for years. I think it's better with an upper grip. No, I like it. Is it? Wow. Yeah. See, knowing me, I would do five, five. Frankie was always an overtrainer. <laughs> Overachiever. Nice. This is their cable unit too. Nice. You can do crossover cables here, or two people could work alongside each other. Cool. And this is the gym. Any questions? No. I hope I explained it perfectly, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.